All right, welcome back to the Rance 21 build. It's time to prep the area requiring the flush fasteners. The plan is to use the dimple tool I got from Aircraft Spruce to prep the thin stuff, and later you'll see a micro stop and a countersink bit used on the spars. I did have to modify the dimple tool a bit to work in the tight area around the front ribs. I set the depth of cut on this micro stop using some scrap aluminum and the dimpled skin. Once I was happy, I locked it down and drilled the spar. Then I gave everything a once over since it's the last time that everything inside will be accessible. The skins will be clecoed in place and the rivets set for good.
This is half the fairing that will one day be installed over this area. The flush rivets allow it to sit nicely on the horizontal stab surface. Holes and nut plates will be added at a later date to secure this fairing once everything is in place on the fuselage. There isn't much more repetitive than shooting a thousand rivets, so I apologize for all the sped up footage, but I felt it was important to show the sequence I chose to take on this project. Right or wrong, I hope it's useful to someone out there one day, even if it's an example of what not to do. Time will be the judge. Once again, paying close attention to the grip length of these fasteners. The rivets just outboard of the spar doublers go down a size, since it's going through one less piece of material. Rands indicates this on the plans, all you gotta do is pay attention to what's on the paper and then execute. And that's a wrap. One more completed airplane part. It's really shaping up quickly, and I'm excited to move on to the elevator surfaces next. Like, subscribe, and share if you got something out of this. Feel free to leave a comment below if you catch me screwing something up. See you on the next one.